Hey guys, it's Karen from Art Fall Acrylics. How are you? Everybody here is healthy and happy and I take that back. We're healthy. <laughs> We're all stir crazy. I'm in week two of pajama bottoms. Rock on with the pajama bottoms. I uh, hope you guys are well. Um, going to do a little double cup experiment tonight. What's that, you ask? You'll have to wait and see. Uh, after my little silent video, a bunch of people wrote to me and said, can you show us how you mix your pouring medium and your color? So I'm gonna do that real quick. Um, in case you've been wondering why I'm pouring on so many little wood rounds is because uh, they were earmarked for the fluid art conference that got canceled. Luckily, I didn't buy a whole lot of supplies, but I did buy I had like 30, 35 rounds. So hence all the videos and pictures of me doing all these little guys. So these are the results. I think I only put three on camera, but I actually did five of them. All similar palette. I hope they convey. I think that's my favorite right there. And it does look darker on the screen because that's a pretty chipper guy. This one, I let the paint run over on the sides like that. That was number one. I think this one was filmed. This one has more white and violet in it. Um, pretty dramatic, that one. And that's what the lip looks like. There is number three. I don't know if I filmed that one. It's more in the aqua greens in the Payne's Gray in Prussian Blue. That one ran over the sides. And then the last two were on film. It was this little guy with the lip here. That's all deep purple and violet in the middle there which weren't the colors I used. It just turned that color from hitting the white. Um, I think that's red violet actually. And then the blue guy here that everyone seems to like and my brother-in-law has claimed. He's like, I love the blues. I'm like, all right, you can have it. And I just gotta show you the cute little thing I got. Um, I'm out of Australian float troll, so I haven't been able to do blooms because I'm unwilling to use up my titanium white to experiment with regular Floetrol. What can I say? I'm low on supplies, so you start hoarding things. But look at this little tiny hair dryer. On, on low, it's only 500 watts, and then high as it goes is 1,000, and mine's like 2,000. So I can't wait to try it out, because it's just so adorable. Uh, and then real quick, a shout out to my buddy Sharon in Utah for sending me a care package. She sent me a little ring dish like this, super cute. And unbeknownst to her is I have a couple of those. So now I have like triplets. I don't know where the third one is, but thank you so much, Sharon. But um, that wasn't the best part of the box. She sent me all kinds of different hair bands because I was telling the story of whoever it was that complained uh, in the comment section and then deleted it, but I saw it before it was deleted. He said I wasn't a real artist because our real artists wear some kind of hair paraphernalia that I didn't have on. <laughs> so Sharon sent me all kinds. Like this is one of them. I like this one because it's like blue jean. You don't like this? I'm gonna wear it tonight in honor of Sharon. So don't look at the gray, okay? I'm gonna use you guys like a mirror for a second and put this guy on and just, you know, hold my hair back, something like this. Okay, enough of that. Let's get that out of the canvas. <laughs> uh, so, this is for an experiment we'll do last. Um, the double cup experiment is that's what I'm calling it. I just made that name up, it's not official. And we're just gonna do two more rounds real quick. One, I have taped the sides, and you can see I leave the, uh, my uh, painter's tape hang down so it just drips down. And this was, I forgot, something happened. I had a lump and I tried to get it out and I ended up ruining it. And now that's been sanded right there. So how I mixed, tonight we're using nothing but, where's the, okay, golden. They put the handle on the same side as the label so you can't show it to people. Um, it's the Golden Color Pouring Medium Gloss. This is all we're using as our pouring medium tonight. I need Golden to fix this problem right here. And 
Two, they really need to hire me to give all their products some cute names because they're all highly confusing in my opinion and boring. Love you, Golden, but seriously, fix your names. Um, I mixed up, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Picked one color here that I thought might not be too dark or too light. This is the three ounce Dixie cup. Has about an ounce of paint in it. And I'm going to add almost an ounce of pouring medium, probably a little less. Now, if I was using heavy body paints, I would add definitely one to one. So a little less than one to one. And I'm gonna give that a mix right here. And see how it's gloopy? Very scientific word, gloopy. So it tells me I need a little bit more pouring medium, just a dollop. People were asking me what the difference was between golden pouring medium and the golden color pouring medium, and I have no idea. Sorry. And then someone wanted to know what's the difference between the golden pouring medium and GAC 800, and it's as far as I can tell, they act very similar. This one is a true pouring medium. It says it's for pouring acrylic paint. It's for adding it to your paint. Whereas if you read the GAC 800, it's to prevent cracking and crazing and act as an extender. So to me, that means you're adding it in addition to something else to prevent cracking and crazing. Whereas this is meant for what exactly what I'm doing right now. Now that's not to say you can't use GAC 800 as a pouring medium. Lord knows I do or have plenty of times. So your guess is as good as mine. So now it is creamier. It's got a little some on my stick. I need to mix up a little better. Creamier, still a bit gloopy, but good enough. I found a little goes a long way with this particular pouring medium. And if you use too much, it gets, it gets like spongy. That's, I, that's, you would feel it on your stick, like it gets spongy. The paint doesn't like it. Um, it makes the colors, I almost wanna do a video where I use too much of it because it makes the colors um, all like translucent and watercolory which could be a cool effect if you were doing it deliberately, but it's, you know, hard to get that right. And I just added too much water to this. So this is Blick Studio Acrylic in Brilliant Yellow Green. So if that happens, you're just gonna add another dollop of paint because I wasn't, I was too busy gabbing and not paying attention. Because that was too thin. I need to have a bit of a trace I totally botched this up showing you. Anyway, you should only add about a half of a teaspoon if you're working in small quantities like this, would do the trick. And I think I added like over a teaspoon. So let me see now. Still a very, very faint trace. To that so I'm just gonna add just like a pea sized bit more like that and that should do the trick I'll go over my other colors we'll do two little flip cups on these rounds and then do our double cup experiment and I'll explain what that is all right that's better so our color is not going to show up there is a bit of a trace that sits on top and then it disappears in like a second it feels nice. Let me compare it to my red violet here. Very similar. This color shows up better, look. See, like that. And ooh, ooh, I don't know about those two right there. So I have the uh, brilliant yellow green from Blick. I had the red violet from Amsterdam. I mixed up some light blue color here. This is combination half and half of um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in White and King's Blue by Amsterdam, the Expert Series. I have some Amsterdam Prussian Blue. 
very pretty. Uh, nope, that's not Prussian blue. This is Payne's Gray. This is Artist Loft Professional Series Payne's Gray, and then Prussian blue. And then finally, we have Artist Loft Professional Series in turquoise. So those are the colors surrounding my little, my little five inch round. I've added, this is what I'm using to help get cells, is my spot on treadmill silicone. Um, I put a single drop in the colors except for white. And I think I'll skip the green since I have it in five other colors. That's plenty as far as I'm concerned. And we're just gonna layer a little cup and see what happens. It should be very similar to the uh, silent video that we did. So do this. Let's do turquoise. I think I like the light green on top of that. Maybe some Payne's gray on top of that. And this light blue, lots of colors. Some red violet. So join me, if you can, on Sunday at six o'clock uh, Eastern Daylight Saving Time for a live pour. I'm gonna uh, make my husband get takeout. And uh, poor guy, he's been doing everything. I have not left the house. He goes to the post office, he goes to the grocery store. He has to do it all. Um, and I'm gonna open up a bottle of wine and you guys tell me what you want. Do you want me to do blooms? Do you want me to do my traditional stuff? I'm open for anything. I don't care, I don't have a preference. We're just gonna goof off and have fun. So, with that said, Geronimo. Oh yeah, uh, one other thing. If you don't have a YouTube account, like if you're watching, anyone can watch YouTube videos, but you have to have a free YouTube account in order to participate or like comments or like um, the video or leave comments or to participate in live pours or to participate in live auctions, all those things, you need a YouTube account. Sign up for free, it's pretty easy. You never have to use it, you can just log in, but then you can leave comments and like videos and you know, be involved. Yeah. Anyway, I hope to see you guys. It'll be fun. And let's see how this first guy turns out. Ready? Bottoms up. Ooh, got a, ooh look at the green. I do like that now. Probably a little bit too much paint, right? Running off. That's very fun. Yep, too much paint. Lightly torch that from a distance. Up high. Although, since I did use a little bit too much paint, I would be able to tilt off whatever I don't like. So. Let me see. I don't think I like this dark part. So let me roll that off. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's be all picky pants, right? Let's take off some of the green cells over here. Mm. I've got like a weird gray color here. Can you guys see? Let me drop you down a little closer since these are tiny. Is that better? Yeah, there you go. Uh, like this right here, I don't like. I like the uh, the purple background thing I got going on in the middle of that. That's kind of fun. I'm just gonna go a little bit this way. Even if I lose those three Amigo cells, there's three more right behind it. And anywhere else, pain is slowing up. Maybe a little bit this way, stretch out the middle a bit. Take some of those guys off. I'm debating if I like this part right here. 
I think I have enough paint to like lose that. Yeah, so I don't have this white, this band here. Let's get rid of that. So you should get some of my thought process there. So off it goes there and off here. Just so we have some uniformity in the background. And plus, look how nicely it's spread out the cells too. That looks really great. Yeah, that looks better, right? So there's that guy. Easy P. Oh, you know what? My I forgot about my pendant light. Hold on, let me turn that off. All right, now I'll hold it up. Maybe you can see better. Really pretty colors though. See, I'm always I'm always shocked whenever I add like a really bright green or something. So there's that one, super pretty. Send him off to the side. We'll do one more and then we'll do our experiment and that'll be it. But then uh, at least you get to see how to mix the golden color pour medium. So this is another failed pour. I don't know, it's, I, just, I just don't like it. I, it was just yucky. So this one, I have the sides to worry about. Only the bottom is um, taped. So this one, I need to let everything run over and grab another little cup. And let's switch up the order a bit. We'll do our white. Let's get some like pinky colors. So let's do the red violet first. And then the Prussian blue. I like the Prussian blue with this green. And then a little bit of this sky blue color I made. And then some Payne's Gray. Whoa, oh, I went way heavy on the Payne's Gray. Darn it. And the turquoise. That's way too much paint. I took, well, it needs to go over the sides this time, so. All right, here we go. Geronimo. And I got my cups for my experiment. My cups look dirty. I've been trying to like recycle cups and let them dry out and peel paint and all that stuff. Same with my sticks, if my sticks look dirty. These are clean, they're just, you know, stained. But they'll be good for my experiment. All right, ready? Trying not to lip one. I'm so, I just, I do it naturally. <laughs> and I'm trying really hard not to. And I need a stick. Yep, I tend to uh, make a pattern without even thinking anymore. It just, it's just my jam. I'm just gonna spread some of this on the sides like this to get rid of this paint. All right, not lipping it. Even though I want to, I want to, I want to. I'll just give it a torch, leave it be. I can't, I can't, I can't leave it be. It just looks boring. It needs something. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, that's better. It just needed something. Oh my gosh, so silly. All right, torch kind of up high. Pop bubbles. And just go in a real quick circle, that's it. Oh look, I got my pink I wanted. Yay. All right, so let's take off uh, that little stripey area. Bye-bye. Oh, no, stay pink. Oh, I got that one bright pink, so I want him. Maybe some more will pop up. Let's take off this purple off the side. And go. Hmm. All right, that looks too, like, faded. So I guess I will let that go. Yeah. 
I'll keep that one white cell with the pink ring. That's like my consolation prize. Too many cells uh, over here, and these guys aren't that great looking. So they're gonna come off this way a bit. Bring it back. Spit I gotta do something over here. So let me spin this around. And take that one little part off there. Lose some of those. Keep the green cells because they're cool. And I got too many red ones over here. So some of those can go off now. And then come back. And now my one, <laughs> my one cell there looks ridiculous. <laughs> uh, it's like the moon. It's like I got the moon. Let me think if I want to let it live or not. I, no. Goodbye, moon. Good night, moon. See you later. All right, and then bring this back. Yeah, that had to go. Some of this red still needs to go off a little bit too. Because we really want to stretch out these cells in the middle nice, open them up. We've got a little bit, a tiny bit of negative space. Let me wipe off my fingers. Running like through here that I do like very much. So I'm gonna take off a little bit off this bottom and this one's done too. That, that's kind of how I do it. And yep, yeah, take that off. Have it come back. Oh yeah, that helps. I'm gonna take a little more because it really opens up that um, area of negative space that I like so much. Yeah, yep. And it made all those other cells grow and now I got like this Cool little thing go gosh going with um there we go going through here with the yellow yeah I like that one a lot the the um that sky blue I think think mixed with either the Prussian blue or the Payne's gray but that shade is really lovely let me hold this one up so you can see it so there's that one and that's it. So that's how I do the little rounds. They're very fun. And I see a little corner I want to pour off the other one before we do our uh, double cup thing. So let me put this guy over here. I'm going to grab him back for just a second. Just this part right here I don't like, so I want to I take it off. And I'm back. All right, that was being ultra, ultra picky, but you know, why not if you can? So there's those two. Now, this eight by eight, this beat up canvas, and I'm hoping that Murphy's Law is not uh, in effect tonight where, oh, you're gonna use a really crappy canvas that's all beat up and how messy is it? Oh, it's all taped up on the back. Um, and get a really nice pour. Don't you hate that? And then you get out a really nice can expensive canvas and it turns out crappy. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna layer these colors in a cup and then we're going to pour it into the second cup to mix up the colors and then pour it onto the canvas. That's the idea. So we're gonna start with the white And I kind of like the order I had going. Do I remember it? We'll get close. And then the um, the red violet. What did I do next? I don't know. We'll go with this light blue. I don't remember what I did last, last time. And then maybe the green. Some Prussian blue. Mm, some aqua green. I feel like I need light blue or something on top of that again, something for light. So we'll do a little more of that. And then some Payne's gray. So we're gonna take that and we are gonna pour it into the second cup. We're like, it's like, you know, mixing a martini. 
Mm -hmm. And we're gonna pour it in here to mix up all the colors and then pour it on the canvas just for the sheer hell of it to see what happens. Ready? So I'm just gonna pour this in here and do this at the top. For all the pink, oh look how it made pink now, see? I think it'll scrapes out some of that. And pour it in the cup. All kinds of colors. And just for good measure, because you know I'm totally chicken, I'm gonna add a little bit of this color on top. And then we're gonna pour this onto this canvas. And hopefully mixed up the colors without making mud, in theory. Ready? I know, I'm crazy, what can I say? I don't know why I started swirling, it just kind of happened. Wow, that's kind of pretty. It's really kind of pretty, right? And do our corners if we can. See what's left in the cups. Let me see this stick, it's wider. So obviously you can only probably do that once. Um, because it, you know, it would start uh, muddying up. But just the one time really uh, blends the colors really quite beautifully, I think. So I'm gonna tilt this just a little bit. Let me scrape out all the paint in this other cup where I have the pink. Even though it's gonna get poured off. We'll just use it to help slide things around. Oh, I like it. That's very fun because it made like pink and gray. Pink and gray is a winning combo in my mind, always. All right. I'm just gonna move things around a little bit. Now I'm all invested and I shouldn't be because, you know, your first time experimenting with something, uh, unless it's just completely beginner's luck, should not usually work out. That's kind of what I feel. I'm gonna get rid of the like the eye of the hurricane thing because it started to look like a tree ring pour and I didn't want it to. So I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit so it doesn't look like one. And come down to this one end. Oh, I forgot to torch. We can do that now, though. That's really pretty. Holy cow. Super, super pretty. A little spot right here I missed. I am worried, though, because I should have torched first. You see all these striations running over here? They're going to make caterpillars, I bet. I bet you, I bet you, I recognize those. Maybe I'll be wrong. And then it'll be my fault for not uh, not torching first. Didn't, actually, I thought that was so pretty at first. It occurred to me like you shouldn't torch this at all because it's so pretty. But I kind of wanted to see how it would sell up too. So that was my dilemma. All right, let's see how much I can uh, move this around. I love, love, love the background. Love it. Let's take some off of this one corner. See, I should not have tilted first. Oh my gosh, you're a goober. Because I would have cells and I would be able to really play and now I got clusters that I don't want. Like especially in the middle. 
and I really can't do anything with. All I'm doing now is making the cells bigger. I really can't, um, I really can't get rid of anything. God, that would have been so pretty. But, you know, I have a penis that's got to go right there. We just, just slice them in half. It'll be fine. And I'm kind of bummed that I did that. Really bummed. Oh, wow. You'll probably see me um, try this again. Uh, I could do it now. Maybe I could turn off the camera real quick. I need to make up some more white and and some violet and some green and maybe try it again. Let me do that. I'm gonna, um, we're gonna go again. Let me turn the camera off for just uh, a minute or two and I'll come back. We'll scrape this and try this again. Here's what, it, what the background looks like. Some of the cells, I mean, super cute, but normally like I did with the little rounds, I could tilt them off, I could move it around. And because I was a goober, and tilted first. See if I tilt now, they're gonna get all out of shape, all out of whack, and there's just simply too many of them. So I will be back in a minute, and we'll hey go again. Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, sorry for the mess on the counter now, because I scraped that canvas. Uh, mixed up um, some more colors. I omitted the Prussian blue this time. Uh, no reason whatsoever. I'm going to do the same thing going to layer colors in a cup. It occurred to me while I was mixing that, you know, I could just do a dirty pour. <laughs> but I don't think even a dirty pour, um, you know, with the colors on high, would mix it the same way this will. So I don't know. I don't even know what to call this. I'm going to call it like, it's like a double cup mix up. It's a dirty martini. <laughs> Um, a double dirty pour. I don't know. It doesn't have a name. So we'll go with a red violet. We'll go with our turquoise. Some that light green. And the Payne's gray. And yeah, we'll do red violet again. Why not? Why not? And turquoise. And the light green. There should be plenty of paint, maybe just a dollop of white. And we'll take this. I'm gonna pour it into this cup. Make a little tree ring pour in the middle of the cup. Like that, oh, that's pretty in there. And let's pour it on here. Have some fun with the pattern. Something like that, put the leftover on the cup. And this time, I shall remember to torch first. Love the blending of the colors. So let's torch first. Kind of high, pop some bubbles. And if it overreacts, well then I have, uh, I have the ability to pour it off. So I think that's plenty of cells. I'm gonna forego the gloves. I'm trying to, uh, did I mention I'm trying to conserve on gloves? And I wanted to donate them, but I have, my gloves are called Pink, Paw, Pink Paws by Framar, and they are non-sterile, so I couldn't donate them. So let's see. Let's just wiggle over to this one corner. There's a ton of cells right there, so they can go off. So see ya, sayonara. And come on over here. What I'm looking for 
whoa, is an interesting background. But right now, I don't know if this is a, you know, I might get a pretty painting, but I'm not seeing the, you know, the really nice background um, all mixed up. Everything right now tends to be turquoise. It's like the turquoise has taken over. I have one pink corner. There's a big body part that he's got to he's got to go off. Like, thanks, but no thanks. This isn't Tinder. <laughs> I crack myself up. I do love the. Um, I'm gonna scoop up some paint or something um, to help me get to this edge. I cut it close with the amount of paint in my cup. So this isn't gonna stay, but hopefully it. Uh, there's all my pink. Hopefully it gets me over to the edge. I don't know why I care so much about this old canvas now. It's just, you know, you always want to get a, a decent pour and totally not waste. Um, I don't mind wasting paint for the sake of experiments, but you know, even I have my limits. So go ahead off all the way. Got a little bit of wonky cells, hold on. In one little corner, you. Give me a stick. Am I in frame? Mama, yeah, pretty much. Just let me grab some turquoise and stick it on this corner. Oh, and I got a pink corner. A pink corner looks ridiculous. Huh, what's in my cup? Let's do this. That's awfully bright too. Let me swing back up that way a little bit. It's a pretty little piece though, but I don't think the experiment was necessarily successful. I can't get up to that corner. I'm gonna grab some off my tarp. I don't think I'm gonna get there. Hold on. <laughs> Let's move this up here and grab. I have some right here. It's the same color. Or around to shade lighter, but it goes. Some of you right here. Maybe I torched that. I'm tempted to torch there, but you know I'm not going to. I love this corner here. I'm not real happy with this corner I just did. You know what I need? I need my spoon or a spoon. So much easier with a spoonful of paint. Yeah. And I'm going to torch that right there. Hopefully, put a cell or two. Oh, my torch is dying. Oh, a bunch of little baby cells. It that way just a little bit and I think I'll leave it alone. You guys know how I feel about bikini corners, right? They're not my jam for sure. But that's not bad because it's got the um, that bright green. That's a pretty little painting. I gotta say it is not what I expected for this experiment. I expected much more variation um, particularly in the background, I guess, I guess I have some, because this is one color here. This is a gorgeous blue black right here. And then you get this light stuff here that I don't like the looks of it. And even though this is like kind of busy and ordinarily, if it was like this or this, I would leave it, but it's kind of modeled. Don't you think? Like, I think so. I don't know if it'll sell up now and my torch is just about dead. 
So I guess I'll live with it. Maybe I'll get a little couple babies. I don't like that, that color right there. But otherwise, ta-da, like a baby ta-da. I really just like this half of the painting, pretty much. Like I wanna cut it in half and keep that part. This right here is amazing. Let me, I'm just gonna, uh, well, let me wipe off my fingers and I'll get you down for a close up for all three. So interesting experiment with the double cup pour. I guess what, that's what I'll call it, because it's catchy. Um, definitely something to play with and experiment with for different backgrounds and less cells. Um, if I did this all over, I would probably only put silicone in two of the colors instead of three. Um, I know a lot of people are anti-silicone. I think of it as a tool to have in your toolbox and for certain looks and certain types of paintings, uh, it does make phenomenal cells. Whether you like it or not, it's personal preference. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it because it means extra work. I don't see this extra work. I think given this art form is rather easy uh, as opposed to painting with the paintbrush, that that's a very, very small price to pay is having to clean off a canvas. I don't know. That's just, that's just my thinking. You probably have other thoughts. That's my lecture for the day. <laughs> Let me get you down. I don't even know what brought that on. Uh, so here it is up close. Like I said, like the middle there, great. Like that green color, like a swimming pool. Super cool, right? And then like the midnight blue with the black. Love it. I'm just not real thrilled with the background right there. Um, I fixed my corner though, it's adorable. This corner here is totally adorbs. And overall, it's a cute little painting. Like I'm keeping it for sure. And then the two rounds, there's, I think that was the second one right there, looking good, hanging out, chilling. And then the first one is fabulous in my opinion, is that guy right there. And Another 10 minutes, you know, long videos are my jam. What can I say? Um, I hope to see you guys on Sunday. Come for the party, come to hang out, come to yell at me, whatever. <laughs> I'll see you then, hopefully. And uh, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. You guys take care, be safe, be healthy, and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.